go. So so I'm on the phone with uh, Logan Paul, right? And I'm like, hey, you remember that really crappy, no nutrition uh, lunchbox back in the day we see when we were kids? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was called uh, Lunchables. He's like, yeah, yeah, I remember Lunchables. I but that cheese wasn't all that drippy, bro. And I tell him, I'm like, yo, I got a brilliant idea. How about we make our own? Diddy ass lunchbox. Say, you know, basically exactly the same, but we're gonna pretend that it's healthier and it's got real cheese. I'm talking drippy cheese. Just how you like it. Just how you like it. And he's like, okay, I'm on board. I'm listening. It's like, I'm like, you make drinks, right? You got prime. I make food and candy. You know, I got feastables. Why don't we put that together and we can make a product called Lunchly? And he's all over. He's like, yeah. I mean, you, your audience is 85% kids in diapers. My audience is 85% kids in diapers. Like, let's do this. We're gonna be rich. And then the next thing you hey big jim uh you, you got a second what, what do you what do you want you know, hold on team star i'll call i'll call you back in a minute There's some idiots here to talk to me i guess hey uh did you get that quality assurance team uh set up like i like i asked you to um excuse me but uh is quality assurance going to cost me money or are they going to make me money well, no, not not right away, but in the long run. Who told you this was a marathon? This is a sprint. If they ain't printing Benjamins right this second, then I ain't interested. Jim, but Jim, you got you gotta have a, a quality assurance team. You gotta make sure that the, the product. The only quality assurance I'm concerned about is assuring I make money. And I, let me tell you something here, okay? Every second I'm spending here talking to you, I'm losing money. And you know I don't like losing money. Okay, but the FDA, the FD who, what's that? What, do they make me money? Uh, well, no. Yeah, that, that's right. I didn't think so. I didn't think they made me money, did they? You know what, how about this? You're fired and I need you to leave right this second. Goodbye, see ya. How about you come back when you have an idea that can make me money? I'm telling you people, who who's hiring these idiots? Like quality assurance, what, what, what the fuck is that for? Was you think there's gonna be mold in the cheese or something? Come on, what a fucking idiot. So I'm sure a lot of you by now have heard the fantastic news that Lunchly has been showing to contain a little bit, maybe a little more than a little bit, of mold inside of the cheese. You know, when Logan Paul said that he liked his cheese drippy, bruh, I never expected it to be moldy i mean something about mold and drip just don't seem to go that well together but what do i know i'm not some kind of connoisseur of lunchables right and don't worry you guys i know there's a lunchly in front of me and if this video has been uploaded today that means i have either not consumed it or i have consumed it and lived to tell the tale so that's a good thing but for the meantime Let's get rid of that. So there have been numerous videos popping up on YouTube, TikTok, all over the cyberspace of people unboxing their mystery gift, which should not have been a mystery. But I think that's what you call something when you don't know what to expect from it. Uh, most people thought that they would get, you know, a nice tasty box with some cheese and some pepperoni or some pizza sauce or whatever it is. But instead, they got this weird looking green substance uh, that some of you might recognize as a term called mold. Now, one of Lunchly's biggest flexes over Lunchables was that they didn't use their that pasteurized cheese product that they can't even call real cheese. No, no, no. They use real cheese. And I'm just talking about any fucking cheese. I'm talking about drippy cheese. You know, that shit Logan Paul's into. Now, real cheese can last quite a long time if refrigerated properly and sealed properly. So it's not really a matter of they shouldn't have been using real cheese. Though granted, had they not used real cheese, had they used that pasteurized prepared mozzarella cheese product, Product, wherever the fuck, you know, that mouthful that Lunchables uses, then this problem would have been probably completely averted entirely. So there's some speculative information out there going around that perhaps the cause of the mold may have something to do with poor manufacturing, poor packaging, or something about the ingredients kind of clashing or whatever and allowing this sort of thing to happen. And either way, it comes down to a lack of quality assurance, which is no surprise. There wasn't a whole lot of quality assurance or safety assurance at the Beast Games or many other things that Mr. Beast has promoted and created because the interest of people's safety doesn't seem to be at the forefront of the Beast plans. And in this case, it seems to be like Mr. Krabs with money signs in his eyes where it's all about pulling in as much bread and as much dough as possible. So Hopefully this doesn't get anybody dreadfully sick, but considering that children might not be able to recognize what mold is and they might just think, oh, it's spicy cheese and they eat it. There might be some 10 and 12 year olds that love Mr. Beast in the hospital soon. And that is a terrifying thought. This is molded. That's mold. This is not safe. Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be comparing Lunchly and Lunchables. 
For those of you who don't know, Lunchly is a super original product that has never been seen before. Some of the most brilliant minds of YouTube came together to create Lunchly, who really care about people and their nutrition and their kids, came together to make this epic product. Ugh, oh, I'm so sorry. I think I threw up a little bit saying that. None of them are foodies, nor do they give a shit. Wait, so it's just Prime and Feastables in a Lunchables? I got some plates here. First thing first, let's just open them up, put them on a plate, see what they look like. I also have a panel of esteemed non-biased judges that will be doing a taste test, so stay tuned for that. I don't have the turkey stackums one because over the last month, four weeks, we have been looking for it non-stop. It sounds like the stores that we went to had never got them because no one had ever seen them. All right, first off, Rosanna needs a round of applause for absolutely roasting and destroying the Three Stooges of Chris. Congra congratulations that was actually amazing good job rosanna and also i just wanted to flex that i was able to get the turkey stack homes i've actually had them for probably like two weeks now i, I got them some time ago because i was planning on doing my own like frying lunchlies versus lunchables video and i just haven't gotten around to it and what's interesting is all i said duck couldn't find this one either so like get fucked i guess but some people are just speculating that um a lot of these did get ordered and what happened was a lot of people purchased the turkey sackums and then there was not really a demand to have them replenish especially considering the health and safety concerns that have been coming out due to these products having potentially dangerous molds in them but yes even rosanna herself found mold in one of her lunchlies which is just out of this world i'm actually very curious to find out if this guy has mold in it. i doubt it because it's the turkey stackums and the ones that are getting mold are the pizzas and the, the nachos. But I mean, this is made with real cheese too. It's, it says it right up there, real cheese, that drippy shit. I mean, well, this ain't drippy, but you know. So these are supposed to be good for like another two months. This is molded. That's mold. This is not safe, especially like kids that are so young. They may not know what mold looks like. So they might just eat it. I saw a picture circulating about mold, but I didn't know if it was fake or, you know, I just had heard about it. But this is real, you guys. And there's mold. Why is there mold in the lunch lay? Oh my no, God. Get, get it it's actually disgusting. Epic ingredients. All right, guys. Well, obviously, I love how Rosanna takes another moment just to absolutely clown on these dorks once again with the uh, incredible ingredients or whatever she said. I think she said epic ingredients just to rub the sauce in just a little bit more. So, yeah, you can see her take the lunchly out of the box and open it up and boom, there's mold in it. Isn't that crazy? Well, I don't need to get like a nutritionist or a health scientist in here to tell you that um, that's not good. Uh, yeah, no bueno. Most humans should not be consuming uh unintentional mold now i understand that like blue cheese and uh maybe some other types of cheese actually do use mold and that's a part of the actual cheese i guess um but i'm pretty sure that mold is like treated or processed in a way that it's safe for consumption uh the mold that just kind of grows out of nowhere uh and isn't intentional tends to be the the sick kind you know the bad kind that will get into your stomach and give you a rough day and and so, like Rosanna said, this is really dangerous and concerning for children because uh, when, you know, little Timmy Turner gets his lunchbox with uh, a lunchly in it and he's all excited to drink his strawberry banana prime and then uh, he sees a little green stuff on there, he might not think twice about it. He might just be like, oh, you know, the, that's the, the secret sauce, right? You know, that, that's that's a part of the lunchly experience. And he just kind of nom, 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 like, oh, that tastes a little funny, but nom, 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 you know, proceed with his life and, so, and then you know next thing you know he's in the nurse and he's like yo I, I don't feel so good I don't, I don't feel so good I don't know what's going on I don't know what, I don't know what it could be at all I, I definitely don't know what it could be and then they're you know in the hospital being treated which is uh, a massive concern um these guys already have several lawsuits on them Logan Paul's got the lawsuits over prime with not selling enough prime because it tastes like cat shit and then you also have the Mr. Beast lawsuits with the beast games thing um yeah I think like food poisoning and let's all hope hope and pray that it doesn't escalate to anything beyond like some tummy aches and a couple hospital visits. But I imagine that that could turn into some lawsuits very, very quickly. And this is why you should not fire your quality assurance team or not hire one to begin with. Because if you don't have that, foodborne illnesses is something that can definitely spread quite quickly from your products.
Now, this is definitely something that even somebody who just received this might eat it, get sick, and then sue you intentionally. You know, like, there is grounds for that. I mean, if somebody gets, like, they'll take the opportunity. They're like, a million dollars is a million dollars. Like, I don't care if I have to spend a couple nights in the hospital. Like, that's the kind of thing we're dealing with here. And I don't think this is a good business model. And I also want to say that this is probably why people that aren't experts on food shouldn't start releasing food products just because they're like, this is going to make me money. I'm going to get millions, money bags, you know? There, there should be some incentive, you know? There should be some pride, uh, some presence, some personality, some care put behind products like this because you're putting this into people's bodies. Like this isn't just something people are consuming with their eyes and their ears. Like this is something that will physically affect them and their health seriously. You can't just be putting out garbage into the world that's not regulated well enough that can cause some serious harm. I mean, this just shows the lack of care that these three have. I mean, they're so concerned about fighting with Dan TDM and trying to make sure that their image looks good and make sure everybody else that, that calls them out for making a product like this looks like an idiot because it's just a lunch kit, right? Why is it such a big deal? And by the way, guys, Logan Paul, clearly cares about his lunch lease so much that he couldn't even resist making sure to advertise his baby uh lunch lease, i don't mean his actual baby um in the hospital room while his uh wife or whatever she is to him um was literally giving birth yeah yeah he did that that's a thing like this is a thing that happened because um what's more important uh your literal child being born or a box with fucking crackers in it i'll let you guys think on that you're putting out dangerous poisons to people that can really make someone sick not only that but there was the whole thing that happened with the pink sauce uh catastrophe where you know chef pie right now is going absolutely broke and bankrupt because she put out a product that got really hyped up on like tiktok and stuff like oh it's a pink sauce that must be cool like i want some you know that was like a very much a curiosity factor that really got it going and then of course this woman had no idea what she was doing she thought the fda was some kind kind of like criminal investigator that like shows up at your house and it's like, hey, hey, are you, are you, are you selling good products? Huh? I'll, I'll arrest you. I'll, I'll arrest you if you're not sell, selling good products. Yeah, you better better make sure those products are good. Uh, yeah, she literally claimed that the FDA like came to her house and was like, yo, uh, do, we, do, we, do we approve of these things? Because she literally didn't even know what the FDA was when she was confronted about. She's like, FD, FD what? FD who? Like, what are you, what are you talking about? What, what, what kind of, th what is that? Is that some, some kind of ingredient? And then when questioned about like what the ingredients were, what the nutrition facts were, she's all like, what do I need to tell you that for? Like, obviously these people that get into this sort of thing don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know anything about food safety and they don't know how to supply a good product to people. Because at the end of the day, it's a cash grab. And this is the kind of thing that people were complaining about. Like, like you selling slop to people with just the, the purpose of trying to get money, at least with the companies like Lunchables and, you know, other companies that put out garbage that a lot of us Americans consume, at least they put out safe products. Right. I mean, there was a recall recently on uh, some frozen food that I bought, but like that's such a rare circumstance. Like I'm not I'm trying to say this isn't like a an isolated incident. This has never happened before. No, I'm sure people have found mold and stuff like that in their processed foods, too. Like, but it's something that doesn't happen often. It shouldn't happen often. But this has been going rampant. There's been so many people that have shown themselves opening up their lunch leaves and seeing this. And here's just a few more examples. Oh, my God. There is mold down in the lunch leaf. Literally so healthier version of Lunchables. Yeah, this dream team here, Mr. Beast Case, I and Logan Paul are responsible for the moldy cheese you just saw. Because tons of people have been getting the Lunchly pizzas and finding mold in the cheese. Like <laughs> So yeah, the mold here is running more rampant than it did in Resident Evil Village. And who is surprised when the three goons behind this are people that just simply don't give a shit about anybody who they're selling their dirty, nasty products to. So guys, if you are for some reason possessed by some kind of lunchly craving psycho demon, uh, just, you know, make sure to double check your product and uh, stay away from consuming any sort of green stuff because that might make you very ill. But anyway, that's it for this video let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and if you did enjoy feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons till next time